Hello my superstars, this is the Star Warrior Horse here, and today I will be filming my Breakfast 2015 haul. I'm very happy with the models that I bought, I even bought some that I did not expect to buy. Unfortunately there are a few models that I couldn't find, however I did wind up with a few good deals. Please note that this video will not contain any models that I won at the Briarfest Open Show or models that are going to be resold. I will first start off by showing you the models that I got. This is Simba Dupont de Tourney. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. I'm sorry if it's wrong. I'm terrible at pronouncing names. He turned out to be in absolutely perfect condition. There are no flaws that I can see that would take away from him in the show ring. Initially, when I saw the photos of him, I was like, oh god, I just can't stand this mold. However, he has grown on me quite a bit since I opened him. His paint job is very clean, although he does look a little pinkish in some areas, which I personally don't care for. But overall, amazing horse. Next up is Ganache. The minute I saw photos of him on Briar's website, I thought to myself, I have to get this model. The gloss really brings out the rich shading in his bay color. And although it's hard to see in this video, he actually does have some faint dapples. Next up we have Chanel. I was very on and off about getting her. When I first saw her, I thought to myself, oh my goodness, what a pretty model. But when I found out how much she costed, I was very upset and I thought that her price was way too much for her paint job and everything. However, when I went to the Clarion on Friday, I believe, she was much prettier in person, in my opinion, than the photos made her out to be. She is more of a sooty palomino than a regular golden palomino and I like that so I wound up getting her and I have no regrets. The video does not give it any justice. She's way prettier in person. This is the Dark Bay Appaloosa Aquila Surprise model. I actually got the Buckskin Tobiano but I didn't really care for it so much. However, my uncle had a bunch of Quayla surprises and he let me get dibs on whichever one I wanted and this was the one that I wanted the most and therefore I got it. I've been wanting a model on the Lonesome Glory mold for some time now and I'm finally happy that I have one. This is Caves of Glasgow. You have probably seen her in one of my previous videos when I was unboxing her. She is also one of my love at first sight models because I am just obsessed with duns and although I'm not a fan of decorators, she has some really nice designs. I love the primitive horses and the bulls, plus she's a primitive dun and I'm just obsessed with duns, especially primitive duns. I just had to get her. I am super in love with this model. Now on to my other models. This is one of the vintage Black Beauty models. If I knew about his collectability previously, I probably would have bought a different model. However, he was only $15 and he had a warped leg and I seriously needed a model for the YouTube meet and now he signed all over. So any vintage or collectability fans out there, please don't shoot me. I am so sorry. God have mercy on my soul. But yeah, he was the cheapest model for his size. And I believe that I had to do in part because his leg was warped. However, I was able to warp it mostly back in place during the YouTube meet because it was so hot outside. This is his other side, his back. If any of you see your usernames on this model, please comment below. This is a little semi vintage Arabian Stallion by Morin Love. It is one of the Sears holiday catalog horses and it is a run of, I believe, 4,400. This was a little gift from my aunt and uncle. He's in very good condition. All he has is just a few small nicks and stuff, but nothing that can't be touched up very easily. This is the Stablemate Funful set made from 2007 to 2008. This was a surprise find for me because there's only like a thousand different kinds of Stablemate Funful sets. And it so happens that I go into this room and the first Stablemate Funful set that I see is the exact same one that I was looking for. And it's not the most recent set either. This was made some time back. So I was very happy to find them. Two of these models, like this one over here and that one over there, might get customized. The other three are going to stay the way they are and I'm going to show them. 
This is the trotting foal of the Stablemates Parade of Breeds made back in 2008. I bought her individually alongside another Stablemate foal, which I'll show you later. There was no way I could pass her up because, come on, look at that shading. She is so pretty. She is such a cutie. Look at those expressive eyes. Oh my goodness. This is a cantering foal made sometime between 2000 and 2002. This model was originally sold as a set with a warm blood stallion. However, this model was being sold individually. She has pretty light shading for a bay, you know, sort of like a wild bay. This is a rivet custom that I bought from Sandy J. Anderson of Nova South Studios. I bought this custom directly from her, considering how much I adore Mustangs. This was one of those purchases that I just couldn't pass up. He even came with his little pony pouch, as you can see here. This is a semi-drastic custom on the Peruvian Paso mold that was customized by Francine Dare. I bought him secondhand from another owner. From what I read, he was a raffle item donated to the Treaty City Live Model Horse Show some time back. I rarely ever buy out of impulse. However, I didn't own any drastic customs at the time, but the minute I saw him and looked at his paint job and everything, I just fell in love with him. And then when I found out that he was only $40, I just had to get him. That was a steal deal to me. I adore him and I'm so happy to have my first drastic custom or at least semi drastic custom in my collection. This is the Clouds Encore set that was released earlier this year. My dad got this set for me as a gift. Over here you have Cloud, Feldspar, Matoska, and Encore. These are Catherine's herself autographed Feldspar, you can see here. Now onto my non-model horse stuff. This is a huge Briar double bag. My dad went into the Briar store while I was at the open show and he came back with two of these, but I'm only showing one for now. This is another awesome find that my dad got at the Briar store. This is a Briar laptop case. It fits my MacBook Pro perfectly, just like the duffel bag. It is embroidered on each side. My dad got these two Briar Fest t-shirts for my mom and I. The white one on the right was supposed to be for my mom, but she left it to me and I'm very happy about that. I might wear the red one on the left when I go to Intersport Live this October. Spoiler alert to all you Region 9 showers out there. My uncle bought a bunch of Briarfest backpacks when he was shopping with my dad at the Briar store so I bought this one from him so that way I can carry my Briarfest binder with me wherever I go. These are some various pins that my aunt and uncle gave me. These pins range from 2005 2006, 2008, 2009, 2010, and most recently 2015. I'm especially happy about the 2010 one because I went in 2010 and that was only for Sunday or the last day. It is very nostalgic to me and it was my first Briarfest ever. My dad and I went to the swap meet on Friday and we dropped by Stormy Strikes booth. While I was there I bought a few items. Among these items I bought the full size leather halter and initially bought it for my Heartbreaker model however it doesn't fit him but fortunately it fits some of my other traditional foals so I'm very happy about that. Then I also bought these two necklaces that she handmade. My dad bought this little bottle cap pin from her and it is so so cool. Everything that she made was totally ingenious. Stormy Strike is just so stinking awesome. If you aren't already subscribed to her channel which is Stormy Strike's channel you should follow it and be sure to check out her tack. It is Sea Storm Tack so be sure to check that out. On Saturday my parents and I dropped by Ginger Catherine's Cloud Foundation booth and while we were there my mom bought me two of these books because the last Cloud book that I read I read the whole thing in a matter of 24 hours so I'm really looking forward to starting in on these books once I finish my other ones. These are non-fiction books. These are actual accounts of Cloud's life. So if you love wild horses, if you're a wild horse advocate, or you're simply a horse enthusiast that wants a good read, check out all the Cloud books. On Sunday night, my family and I went to this barbecue joint and I bumped into Maggie Bennett while we were there. And because I was wearing my name tag, she gave me this cute little medallion 
thing right here for free and it is so cute i just love it i can't wait to get around to painting it i got this 2015 hobby directory for free while i was at the clarion and it's basically a summary of all the artists that were there i guess and yeah it's a very comprehensive guide you know with all these cool advertisements and stuff and lastly, my aunt and uncle got me this very cool Kentucky Horse Park book. It is the Alltech FEI World Equestrian Games Commemorative Edition. And I really like it a lot. It has some very nice illustrations of the things that went on during the time. The horses and the costumes, the special events and stuff, the sculptures and all that awesome cool stuff so yep i believe that's about it thanks for watching my superstars be sure to shine on